Okay, welcome back to uh, SiliconANGLE's exclusive coverage. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract a signal from the noise, and we are here at O'Reilly Media's conference, the Fluent Conference, where all the top developers and really folks who are pushing the envelope around web development, mobile development, and software engineering around user experiences, user design, mobile apps, et cetera. And here they're expanding the world of JavaScript, which has become the most important programming language on front end user experiences, it's scaling big time with more stacks, more capabilities. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined with my co host for this show, Jeff. Frick of SiliconANGLE. Jeff, uh, it's been great. We're here at day two for two days of live coverage. We've been broadcasting the keynotes, and we have a lot of interesting segments coming up. We're going to talk to some great uh, experts, thought leaders here uh, in San Francisco. Um, day two, what's your take about uh, day one, and, and talk about what we think is going to happen day two. Let's kick this off. What do yeah, you think? I think the most interesting thing that came out is really the, the evolution of JavaScript into just web platform, web platform, web, pl web platform, if I can steal the line from the keynote from yesterday, and that it is really more about more than just JavaScript, but it's the complete set of tools that are enabling people to deliver in this new world. And I think, uh, as we've, we've talked before and we'll explore more today with the guests, you know, the impact of mobile, um, and, and not only, again, as a distribution mode for your code and your applications, but also as a way to pull data back in and enabling things that heretofore were just not possible by having millions and millions of devices distributed out there collecting data and pumping it back in. So I'm excited to talk to the to the folks we're going to have on about how mobile's really impacting it and how really th thinking about it from a developer um, perspective as we talked briefly before we went on air, you know, the in, the increasing complexity across all these multiple platforms with the with the growing adoption of of uh, Android, and now we're hearing all about Chrome, and then you've got, of course, the, uh, the Apple OS, iOS, and what that all represents. So how are the folks uh, addressing the challenges to deliver their applications in this new world? Yeah, and to me, it's ultimately about the developers. The developers here are really pushing the envelope on the next generation of software engineering, and really taking JavaScript, which is an amazing standard. It's become such a great environment for web apps, and now mobile and other environments. We're seeing it move from uh, kind of the old legacy JavaScript to a new generation where standards are developing, new tooling, new platforms, and ultimately scaling out the most important aspects of user design. I think that's going to come in the form of protocols, tooling, and uh, just exciting. And, and developers want to know what's next. What are the new environments? What are the new uh, APIs? And I think the most exciting thing to come out of JavaScript development is the notion of full stack engineering, new tooling, and protocols. Protocols like REST, and APIs are really pushing the envelope. We heard from Splunk yesterday, PayPal is talking today, and ultimately having a platform where developers can use JavaScript in a way that scales in a full stack implementation is really the key for developers. And for the developers out there watching who aren't attending Fluent, this is where the action is, and this is where the new stuff's being talked about. Conversations about responsiveness, responsiveness design. We all know the problems with JavaScript on browsers. You take that to the server side with Node, new opportunities, new challenges, challenges emerge, and this community is developing that, Jeff, and I think that's exciting. And again, the Amazon moment in the world of impact of developers has really transformed this notion of API-based uh, infrastructure. REST APIs are really the, a real key protocol, and new standards need to be developed. And with the cloud, you're going to see that. With Node, it's, it's really going to do some amazing server-side stuff. Uh, and, it's, and funny, on Twitter last night, people were talking about beer.js. You know, people like to drink beer in this audience. So a lot of people <laughs> were out last night drinking beer and talking about code. And this is all about code, and it's all about the future. And it's a really exciting conference. Again, developers want to know what's out there. New things are developing. And again, JavaScript is really a very, very important uh, product. It's here to stay. That's a fact. And now it's going to a whole other dimension. Yeah, I just want to remind the people out there too, if you're not fortunate enough to be here at the show and we're in, at the Hilton Hotel in San Francisco, you know, part of the mission of theCUBE is to bring you the vibe, to bring you to the show, to get the right people uh, on, on theCUBE so that you can, you can hear from them, you can talk to them. So I really want to encourage you to participate. The hashtag for the event is hashtag FluentConf. That's hashtag FluentConf. We've got our Twitter tweet decks up. We're, we're keeping an eye. So, We'd love to hear from you. If you got a question you want to forward into the guest, please send it along. We, we encourage that. 
And um, you know, we want to make it a conversation. The Cube's all about a conversation. It's about getting the, the people, getting you the information that you want to have, that you want to know. And we're going to get the best that we can find here. Yeah, and you, people are flowing in now off the keynote. We're going to have some guests on to talk about JavaScript, talk about the future of software engineering in the front end. User experience is front and center for developers, but also coding, new tools. We heard from Bootstrap yesterday. Um, it was a great, great talk about the book that was just released by O'Reilly called Bootstrap. Again, ease of de deployment, creativity, but also scale. Coding in the right way, and also creativity, it's really a focus here. And again, standards need to develop. And JavaScript has some legacy. There's some baggage at JavaScript. That is moving quickly with new tools. Google's here, PayPal's here, Splunk is here, SiliconANGLE and Wikibon are here. This is the cube. This is where we break down and extract the signal from the noise. And We'll do that again all day today. I'm John Furrier with Jeff Frick, and we're going to be you know, breaking it down all day long. Uh, and Jeff, I, I, I want to say I haven't noticed any VCs here, but uh, if you're a VC, you should be here. I mean, what do you think? I haven't seen any VCs. Yeah, you should be here. I mean, they had the, they had an entire little startup um, little startup contest last night. Kenny and I walked around uh, while people were drinking beer, of course, and saw some of the innovative innovative startups that were here. I mean, I think one of the things that continues to amaze me is this whole concept of delivering service on demand. And not only Amazon, who's done that with computing resources and storage resources, but one of the startups last night was scooters. So it's kind of like zip cars, but they're doing it with scooters. And so you're not buying a scooter, you're purchasing transportation on demand. And they've got a little fleet of them, and you know you may you may think it's kind of funny, but especially with the younger folks today, you know they like to buy their services by the drink, and we're seeing this even transform from the virtual world to the physical world, enabled with software, because that's how you find out where your scooter is, where you're going to drop it off. I asked the guy, I said, "What's your main application that people are actually using these things for?" And he said, "Commuting." Uh, so you know, who would think that rather than use the existing public transportation or buy your own car? Because of software, because of your mobile device, you could say, you know, I want to get a scooter, I'm going to drive to work and drop it off for the next guy to take it to the next place. So there's a lot of innovation, a lot of startups, and as you said, a lot of hardcore developers here that are writing the next great app. Yeah, and I think the big thing from yesterday's takeaway was obviously code is everywhere, code is on the screen, people are coding in the hallways. I mean, this is a developer geek fest, and this is all about coding. But we had Brady Forrest on yesterday, who uh, is now a VC, he's put on the Web 2.0 Expo, he's been on, in the flow, he's been part of the Fluent Conference, and he and I talked about this notion of DevOps. Is there a DevOps equivalent for hardware? And the big thing that's happening is this industrial internet is probably one of the hottest mega trends that's going to be driving development. Internet of things, industrial internet. We talked about the, this company Nest, it's building a thermostat that's not a thermostat, it's a user interface, like an iPod that runs your house, could have a human, human interface to it, all software driven, software led, really, really cool, amazing things, and ultimately, use cases, and Brady Forrest, uh, uh, Venture Fund um, is a lot like other funds out there in these angel networks where they're funding practical uses of technology for the everyday human being. You know, people, Bose speakers don't necessarily connect elegantly up with software to the real world, so they're going to do things like that. Connect to wristwatch, it's going to connect Google Glass. You're going to see software with cloud and with JavaScript, these, environment, these developers in this environment start programming for real world scenarios. You know, people could operate their speedboat, their sailboat, their cars, their lifestyle. You're going to start to see the lifestyle business of the of the consumer lifestyle and businesses yeah. integrate in with software. And this tech community, which has traditionally done it from a geek perspective, is going to take it mainstream. So I think you're going to start to see everyday things in our life be networked, be connected, and driven by software. And these are the guys that are coding it, Jeff. The guys at this conference are right here, are going to develop the standards with JavaScript on the front end and a variety of other tooling and platforms. This is what's exciting to me. I think this Internet of Things is really, again, one of the big things that we see happening. And again, we've always pointed out the trends on SiliconANGLE, Wikibon before, a lot of other sites. And and O'Reilly, like us, has identified the Internet of Things as a big deal, and they've had the Maker Fair for many, many years. This tinkering concept of engineering is going to go to a software model, that's where cloud, that's where this user design stuff really connects together. So it's very clear to me that this is the future. Yeah, and we've got a guest on today, John, uh, James Ferguson from, I think it's Quigley, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, KW, IQILY, and he told me what it stands for last night, but it's basically intelligence. Um, 
and, and they do uh, commercial building control with JavaScript enabled devices. So again, as you said, the, the industrial internet is here. You've asked a number of guests, John, that we've had on, you know, kind of what inning are we in? Where are we kindergarten? And I think it's still really early days. I mean, I, th I think as, as with most technology, you know, it takes a while to figure out and to start to think in a way that you can use this in, th in ways that you couldn't do before. And so uh, we're excited to get James on. So we should have a great day. Uh, we're looking forward to a wall-to-wall -wall coverage. What do you think? Well, it's going to be great. We're excited. Again, this is a geek conference. This is where developers are developing new tooling. This is going to set the stage for the future, and this is going to take JavaScript from all its benefits and all its baggage to a whole nother level. And I think you're going to see protocols, you're going to start to see the standards, and ultimately it's an open source paradigm, Jeff. So the community itself is designing this in real time and really moving the ball down the field. Again, JavaScript is here to stay. There's no debate about that. JavaScript is relevant, and it's going to move from with the baggage that it has, it's it's going to morph and keep more, more opportunities. And I think you're going to see things server side and full stack coding and tooling come out. And this is the community that's doing it. This is Silicon Angles, the Cube. This is our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the ceiling from the noise. We have wall to wall coverage all day two of our live feed. I go to siliconangle.com and, and see the feeds there with the keynotes. Good, great guests. Stay tuned, keep watching, and uh, tune in. We're on Twitter. So call us and tweet us. Let us know. We'll be right back after this short break with our next guest. Thanks.